where you are from. Um, I am from Mexico City. I am 45 years old. Hey. I am I am work to uh, Colegio de Bachilleres. I am working. Hey, that's great, Vero. I like to know that. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, who's next? Leti Ramirez, how are you today? Fine, thanks. Excellent. Please, Leti, talk to us about yourself, who you are and what you do, where you are from. I'm from Mexico City. It's... No, perdón, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> este no, no podía entrar y me costó mucho trabajo. Yeah, it's okay. okay, don't worry. You know what? Uh, the principal objective in this class is that you feel confident to speak. So don't be nervous, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm from, from, I'm from Mexico City. All right, pretty good. Letty, thank you very much. All right, so, uh, Rodrigo, please. Luis Rodrigo, could you talk to us about yourself, who you are, what you do, where you're from? Uh, uh, ¿Sí me escucha? Yes. Sí, sí escuchamos. Sí escuchamos, yes. I listen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Perdón, es que llegué tarde y no, no sé. Ah, it's okay, don't worry. Okay, so tell me, Luis, where are you from and what do you study? No, I'm sorry, no, no, no entiendo. Ah, está bien, no te preocupes. De hecho, estamos iniciando con algo muy básico, una presentación personal, eh, a qué se dedican, de dónde vienen. Something so basic so that you can be um, used to be talking. That's the principal point, to be talking. So it's okay, don't worry. Eh, aquí, okay, okay. el principal pre objetivo de esta clase es que ustedes vayan obteniendo fluidez al hablar, que vayan perdiendo okay. el miedo, que, que, es, que se acostumbren. Okay. My name is Rodrigo. I, I am from León, Guanajuato. Hey, that's okay. That's great. León is a very beautiful place. That's great. All right. And Luis, tell us what do you study? Uh, I am studying um, logística, logistic, y transporte. Wow, that's a great career. That's a great major. Thank you very much, Luis. Belém, you want to talk to us? Please tell us. Yes, Nagi. Good afternoon, all of us. And I am from with Tulancingo Hidalgo. And I am, um, I studied uh, the degree in engineering and quality. And now I study um, postgrado in education, doctorado in education. And I want to study more English because I need to um, actualization my vocabulary, grammar, and conversation. Um, 
Ay, bueno, cuando era chica, <ríe> no sé cómo explicarlo, compañeros, pero bueno. desde pequeña este, estudié en colegios que son bilingües, pero no, nunca tuve oportunidad de viajar, entonces sí considero que es importante la parte de la convivencia para poder reforzar el idioma. Y pues eso es todo. That's it. Thank you very much, Belen. You know what? You are right. We have to, to speak, but I, I have a surprise for you all. Many people think that whenever you go for, maybe for a couple of weeks to United States, for example, there you are going to speak just English, no Spanish. But nowadays it is not true. There is an enormous Hispanic everywhere. So everywhere you, you go, you can find people who speak Spanish. So, well, I guess... Yes, I guess that here the most important part for us to learn how to speak a language is to practice. And well, here you have a space. Here you have a, a, a moment where you can practice and where you can also uh, be corrected. If you have any mistake, any very big mistake, I will mark it here. So feel free, feel confident. Right. Thank well, you, Maggie. Thank you very much. Elizabeth, please talk to us about yourself. Tell us who you are and what you do. Elizabeth, hello. Don't be shy. Um, maybe Elizabeth is having some problems with her microphone. Uh, what about Sharon? Sharon, could you talk to us about yourself? Hola, ¿me escuchan? Yes, pretty good. Yeah. Sí. Yes. 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 Hi, um, my name is Sharon. Um, um, I am from Mexico City. Um, student. Estudio actualmente turismo, pero bueno, estoy apenas en segundo semestre. It's okay, pretty good. You know what? Um, I feel, I, I can see that you are so nervous. Everybody is so nervous. So don't worry. Here, Of course, sometimes we, we feel that we are going to be evaluated. And that's the problem, that we say, ay, no, me van a reprobar. And no, that's not the point. So don't, don't you worry. Okay. Feel free. Uh, here, okay, I am uh, maybe um, your teacher, okay? Let's say I am your teacher. But I am, first of all, I am your friend. And later on, I know that it is very difficult to speak another language and it is very difficult also to get used to technology because you can't see me you don't know where I am eh, and we are not close to each other it is difficult to manage the platform and sometimes you can't eh, be into the session and that makes you feel nervous but here the principal point is to feel free to feel confident and then you are going to have a very good experience uh, may i talk to you into spanish puedo puedo hablarles en español un momento sí. yes quiero contarles una experiencia que yo tuve a mí me becaron eh, en la universidad del sur de indiana hace unos años eh, por parte del gobierno del Estado de México. Estuve en un programa de becarios que se llama Proyecta 100.000. Y podría decirles que, pues, yo fui... Eh, 
porque tenía muy, muy buen nivel de inglés, este, era de los docentes más destacados de la Universidad Mexiquense del Bicentenario. Cuando llegué allá, me hicieron un examen de nivel y me pusieron el nivel 6. Este, Son seis niveles los que hay en el, en el programa de inglés de, de la Universidad para Inmigrantes. Y me pusieron en sexto y me dijeron, Magui, tú aquí no vienes más que pues a conocer más bien de nuestra cultura, a compartirnos de tus costumbres y, y cómo es tu pueblo. Pero pues tú realmente no te preocupes por la evaluación, tú sabes muy bien hablar inglés. Entonces yo podía platicar perfectamente con el provost, con el director de la universidad, con la directora del programa. Este, sin problema, pero en mis clases, en la clase de conversación, en la clase de gramática, no saben qué trabajo. Yo no entiendo, bueno, no entendía en ese momento por qué, por qué me trababa, perdía fluidez, se me olvidaban las palabras, me equivocaba en los tiempos verbales. Y entonces me di cuenta de que hace antes cuando están siendo observados. Nos sentimos nerviosos porque sabemos que podemos cometer algún error y no estamos acostumbrados a cometer errores visibles. Entonces, eso nos hace ponernos nerviosos, perder fluidez y tener miedo de hablar. Entonces, no olvídenlo, olvídenlo. Esta es una clase diseñada para que ustedes pierdan ese miedo. Es una charla entre amigos, es una clase de conversación en la que pues vamos a hablar de nuestras cosas como si estuviéramos entre amigos de otro país que no hablan español, pero queremos hacernos amigos de ellos y queremos tomar parte en la conversación. Entonces, ustedes no se preocupen, no se sientan nerviosos. Belén, we listen to you. Belén. Okay, thank you. And I don't know what more say, but I want to study and practice the the language with all of us. And I want to do many activities to um, to can to make more speaking. <laughs> I don't like grammar. <laughs> I don't like. Um, that, I think it's that very important. Topic? Everything. Yes, that's it. Pero, we yes. listen. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, Belen. Yes. I think I, I think it's very important to listen, grammar, writing, reading. For the English is very important. It's very important to understand. Um, yes, that's <clears throat> it. Pero, thank you very much. Yes, but don't worry. Maribel, you wanted to talk to us. Buenas noches, maestra y compañeros. Hola, Maribel. Hola. Este, bueno, no sé hablar mucho inglés, pero este, nada más les haré mi presentación. I am Maribel. I am 40 years old. I study, study in Open University. I work in, in the staff of secretary. Maribel, okay. thank, yeah. thank you very much. Eso fue muy bueno, Maribel. That was pretty good. All right. So what about um, Ana Maria? We can listen to you. We want to listen to you. Okay, Rosaura or anyone else who wants to, to speak? Good night. Hello, Rosaura. I am Rosaura from Mexico City. I work an hospital, study university, nutrition. Okay, pretty good. 
All right. So, anyone else? Dul, Dulce? Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Well, Hi. I am Dul, Dulce. <laughs> I like to say Dul. Um, I'm from Mexico City. I am studying nutrition. I'm 32 years old. Um, what else? I like um, to ride a motorcycle. Um, I studied English for two years, but I does not, um, como se dice, pena? <laughs> uh, I am not ashamed. Yes, <laughs> from me when I speak it, but aquí sigo. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, pretty good. All right. Thank you very much, Dulce. So, Dul, um, who's next? Maybe Elizabeth, we want to listen to you. Hello, Elizabeth. I listen to you. Yeah. yeah, we listen to you. Or maybe R, who is R? You know what? Maybe, R, you are having some problems with your microphone, but we have a beautiful chat. So, eh, Ana Maria, ah, yeah. Ana Maria, you said that you wanted to speak, but we can't listen to you. Eh, Elizabeth, I listened to you win a, a scholarship because you are an excellent teacher and you speak very well English with the managers. However, when you speak in your conversation class, you are very nervous. Yes, Elizabeth, that was right. You know what? Here's something important is that uh, whenever you don't have a microphone, don't worry, we have the chat. So Elizabeth, pretty good. We can have communication by the chat also. Thank you so much. All right, you know what? Uh, who's next? Hasn't spoken. R. We have an R. What's your name? R. Goodbye, R. All right. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. All right, the, the next image. Here we are. Ta -da. All right. So I would like to talk to you about my hobbies. Well, oh, Mm, I want to talk about my hobbies and to say that I like very much uh, to do, uh, I like traveling. I really love traveling. You know why? I like traveling because when I travel, I know beautiful places. I know beautiful people. Uh, I, I meet beautiful people and I taste be delicious, delicious food. So I like to travel. That's my hobby. Uh, Maribel, what about you? What's your hobby? Belém, yes, because you know people pretty good. Belém, what's your hobby? Uh, okay, Maribel. Um, the hobby is the my children. Children to play with your children. Um, hijos, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Uh, children, it's okay. Children. Children. Um, the uh, in the park. Uh, in the in the TV. TV. Wow. Hey, that's great. Okay. So, Belém says that her hobby is to read. Pretty good. Elizabeth says that... Um, her... Yes. Uh, excuse me. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, and uh, my hobby next is the uh, travel too because I uh, know people and culture and some um, artesanías. And mm -hmm. I like very, very much uh, 
stay with my family. Hey, that's beautiful. Pretty good. And Elizabeth says, my hobby is to travel, swim, and play with my little son. Hey, beautiful. That's so nice. Okay, so Luis Rodrigo, talk to us about your hobbies. What do you like doing in your free time? Um, my hobby is to read, uh, go to run, um, uh, and y también, <laughs> se me olvidó and, también. And also? Also, it go to cinema. Wow, nice. Mm. All right, thank you very much, Luis Rodrigo. All right, so Vero, what do you, okay. what do you say? Okay, I like to practice yoga, but I don't like to watch TV sometimes. I don't like to play football. I like to play with my child. I like my, I, I like to read in some books. This is my hobby. Wow, beautiful. Thank you very much. And anybody else? Ana Maria, what about you? What's your hobby? Mm, all right, I want you to do me a favor. If you think that you can't use your microphone, write in the chat. So that's another way to have participation. Uh, Leti, can you speak? Can yes. you use your microphone? Excellent. What about yes. you? Este, my hobby is cook. I am a chef, but I like to cook very much. Mm. Uh, and practice yoga too uh, because I, I have three two, two daughters and one son why do you say dragones? <laughs> uh, good tooth good tooth? good tooth, como de buen diente uh -huh. good tooth. ok, sí lo entendí because they are good tooth <laughs> excellent hey, that's pretty good so you have your fans yeah, okay. Excellent. Pretty good. Hey, and that's delicious, even. I like to be good. <laughs> hey, that's good. The food is good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Food is delicious. 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 Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So, what about Dulce? What's your hobby? Well, um, my biggest hobby, well, uh, I already say that I like to ride a motorcycle and one's beautiful um, paisajes. Yeah, landscapes. What do you say? Landscapes. Okay. Uh, one's beautiful landscapes and, um, you know, beautiful places and you feel free. <laughs> hey, that's great. Pretty good. Thank you. And who's next? What about Sharon? Sharon, can you speak? Um, I like to ride a bicycle. Go out white. Um, how is this, Sabrina? Nephews. Mm -hmm. um, got white my nephews and my brother is no, to the park. Hey, that's great. <laughs> that's beautiful. All right, thank you very much, Sharon. Rosaura, what about you? Hi. Um My hobby is room, is 
play my song and my movie. Wow, excellent. Thank you very much. That's very nice. All right, who's next? Uh, have we heard uh, Maribel? Who's missing? ¿Quién falta? Any volunteer or victims? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the next part. Ta -da. Wow, that's nice. So, you know what? I really enjoy doing some of these activities. Mm, for example, I like very much to play the guitar. Do you know how to play the guitar or to play any, any instrument? I like to play the guitar and I play the guitar very rarely because I don't have time. But I would like to have more time to play my guitar. So, Luis Rodrigo, tell me, what about you? Do you practice any of these hobbies? And how often do you practice? Yes, I am practice football. Uh, I like very much playing football. Hey, that's great. And how often do you practice soccer? Mm, one time, one, one time for weekend. Once a week. Once a week. Okay. Hey, Once a week. All right. Thank you very much, Luis. Okay, Luis. Who's next? Quien sigue? I am Veronica. Um, I um, usually practice yoga. And um, sometimes practice to take um, some teaching when I to travel with my family. Hey, that's great. Thank you very much, Vero. And Vero, please tell us who's next. Who's next? Mm, Leticia. Thank okay. you. <laughs> my, my hobby is the same. I like the yoga. Uh, I take no, three times no, a week. Hey, that's pre pretty good. Leti, thank you very much. Okay, Leti, who's next? Next is Dul. Dul, thank you. Um, ¿Me escuchan? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I think we are already three that we like yoga. I practice yoga too. And I practice um, natación, ¿cómo se dice? Swim, swim? Mm. Swimming. Swimming. And that's all. <laughs> And how often do you practice yoga or swimming? Uh, swimming two, one, two once, dos veces a la semana. Twice. 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 Yes. And mm. the yoga three three best. times yes three times on the oh. week hey that's great thank you very much okay thank please you. tell us who's next uh, Belém wants to speak yes thank you I practice swimming um, four days a day and I like to play sometimes, not all the time, sometimes times tennis. All right, thank you very much. Okay, Maribel wants to speak, but please let me read to you from Elizabeth. She says, I usually take photos to my son, and when we travel, I take photos to beautiful landscapes and my family because I enjoy it. I also sometimes plant a plant, because I love them. Hey, that's beautiful, Elizabeth. Thank you very much. All right, so, um, Belém. <laughs> Or who was next? I'm no. sorry, Maribel. Yes, Taro. All right. 
Okay, so who's next? Sharon? Sharon. All right, thank you. Sharon, we listen to you. Hello. Perdón, me perdí. <laughs> it's okay. Um, ¿cuál, cuál es el que sigue? What's your hobby or, or what of these activities do you practice and how often? No, perdón, no estoy en contexto. It's okay. <clears throat> you know what? Uh, I would like you to tell me if you have any of these uh, activities in your past. Did you used to take photographs or to play any instrument? to do gardening, or to practice yoga, to paint, or to do any sport time ago, and now you don't? Sharon, hello. <laughs> All right. So, you know what? Why don't we do like volunteers? Vamos a manejarlo por voluntarios, ¿va? <laughs> Miss, yo puedo decirle que practico. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I am Maribel. I like practice taekwondo. Um, and like uh, soccer. Good. That's pretty good. And Mari, please tell us, how often do you practice taekwondo or soccer? And the practice that kind of um, the two weekends, two, uh, a semana, uh, uh, twice uh, a week. Twice. Okay. twice a week. Excellent. And what about Taekwondo? Um, no entendí la pregunta. Y Taekwondo, ¿qué tan a menudo? How often? Ah, okay. Uh, on Monday, Wednesday. Three day. Three times a week. Uh, yes. Wow, thank you. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, any volunteer? Alguien? Somebody to raise your hand? Okay. Okay, do we? Yes. Yes. Mm. Yo ya dije. <laughs> ah, yeah. Anybody else? No, Manuel, uh, Rosaura, Ana María. Uh, hola, este, yo empiezo mi clase a las ocho, pero... Ah, it's okay. <laughs> don't worry. All right. Colado. But you know what? It was very good for you. <laughs> Before, to be before and to be listening, all right? Anyway, welcome. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Ta-da! Here you are. You know what? Sometimes the hobbies we practice lead us to have some skills, some abilities. For example, do you know or do you consider that whenever we play any instrument, we can develop any skill? So, do we learn to do something? Desarrollamos alguna habilidad? Do we develop any skill? When we play music, for example, or when we do sports, when we take photographs, or when we paint? What do you think about it? I I think Maggie I developed a skill in the swimming when I have the silence and I eh, can puedo concentrarme más con siento que puedo desarrollar que desarrollo la habilidad de concentración cuando estoy nadando. Ajá, uh -huh. you can concentrate much better. That's pretty good. Yes. You're right. Thanks. All right. Anybody else? Volunteers? <laughs> I think 
Yeah. Okay. Um, I have the ability um, to take a good pictures and I like to do it. Hey, that's pretty good. And do you consider that you develop concentration or maybe artistic sensibility, um, something about uh, 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 expression, communication, kind of like that? Um, concentration, no, but the second que dijo. <laughs> mm. Communication and express your your emotion. Yes, express uh, my emotion and and I when I take a picture and I like demonstrate the um, demostrar. Me gusta demostrar. Show I, to show. Ah, I like to show and the people. Um, I don't know. Uh, paisajes, como dijimos que se decía. Landscapes. Landscapes. Mm -hmm. Landscapes. And I think uh, tiene sensibilidad una fotografía. That's it. You're right. And that's so beautiful, you know. Yes. Whenever you go to a gallery and you see a, a photograph exposition, you can see not only what the photographer saw, but also maybe to, to guess why he or she was attracted to that image. And so that's wonderful. Yes, yes, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, anybody else? Okay, Leticia. <laughs> yeah, Leti. Este, I have the skills when I'm skating in the water. Wow. I like very much skating. <laughs> That's nice. Is it difficult? Este, the first time, yes. <laughs> but but this slowly learn. That's y, it. Y, it's beautiful. <laughs> I think so. To make sport on water, wow, it's delicious. Hey, that's great. All right. Mm, anybody else? Elizabeth said. Take photos, develop, develop some skills like taking pictures for fun. A photographer can be a designer and edit his photographs. Yes, you're right, Elizabeth. That's a very good point. All right, anybody else? No? All right. You know what? I need you to do me a favor. Uh, I need to know, is there anybody here from Bachilleres? Pero? Who is from Bachilleres? Mm -hmm. ¿Hay algún maestro de Bachilleres aquí? No. no. Bueno. <laughs> Pero, Vero, are you from Bachilleres? No, nobody. Todos son de una de. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. I am a teacher for UNAM. Very good. I am, I am in a finance accounting. Wow, very good. All right. You know what? The question is because uh, I am uh, having two programs at the same time. Some of them are bachilleres teachers and the other ones are one of them students. But uh, I have to take the list and to know who is from bachilleres and who is from one of them. Elizabeth, oh, okay. Elizabeth what is the, the branch in bachilleres you work for? Bachilleres? Two or bachilleres four? One, all right. So Elizabeth, bachilleres one. one. Right. Pero you mentioned also that you work for bachilleres in El Rosario. Excellent. Thank you, Elizabeth. So, no more? All right. So, you know what? I am very happy 
that you were online today, I guess that at first you were nervous, but finally you try to be calm. You are knowing how to use the platform, so don't worry, be calm. And I really thank you so much for being in here. Uh, it was a very nice uh, session, and I really thank you so much. So, have a very good night. I don't know if you want to say anything, any comment. Next time, <laughs> speak more. <laughs> uh, but it's okay, don't worry. Thank you very much for your attention and for your participation. That's very important. All right, so uh, Toshiba, Perdón, it's okay. Solo agradecer la confianza que nos brindas para poder permitirnos, como dices, equivocarnos y no sentirnos observados, para poder darnos este permiso de, de poder practicar el idioma. No, al contrario, Belén, un honor trabajar con ustedes, de verdad es uno de los grandes orgullos de mi vida el poder este, servir en algo y créanme que les entiendo perfectamente cuando yo empecé a trabajar en ILSE eh, mi gran terror era abrir la plataforma porque no podía eh, vamos era terrible ¿no? Entonces, los entiendo perfectamente que primero es el miedo a cómo le hago qué tal que le pico y me saca o qué tal que no puedo entrar y ya están todos en sesión no se preocupen es perfectamente comprensible y por otro lado, pues, el límite del idioma, ¿no? Pero para eso estamos aquí, para estar practicando. Y nuestro objetivo es que muy pronto hablen ustedes muy bien y muy fluido y que puedan utilizar el idioma, no solo para certificarse, sino, pues, para platicar por todo el mundo, para adquirir más, más experiencias y conocer gente. Muchas bueno. gracias, porque la verdad nos, nos da confianza y nos... Creo que ya muchos perdimos un poquito del temor. Ay, qué con, bueno. Con, bueno. Por la clase de persona que... Sí, no, no, eso deseamos. Bienvenidos todos y pues bueno, nos vemos próxima semana. Have Thank you, Tish. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye